So thank you so much for tuning again today. I'm inspired, Grisel, and on here inspire you to look within you to be the best version of you that you were created to be. That God is calling you out to be get content on love, relationship, worship, truly, truly good, inspiring content on here, and a few DIY. Thank you so much for all our returning subscribers. God bless you. And if you're yet to subscribe, please go ahead and do so. Right, you'll truly be inspired and blessed on here. We are all about encouraging you, and I truly, truly believe that on here you'll be inspired, you'll be encouraged, and you become the best version of who that you were created to be so today i'm answering a question that one of uh, my subscribers asked me right um i shared this uh, video on my 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 deliverance from sleep paralysis how god got me delivered from it and and if you haven't watched it you have to go watch it i spoke about dream attacks you know uh and most people think oh it's just one of those biology things but for me it was very spiritual and thank god i got delivered so i'll be answering the her questions today in this video okay it's i'm gonna just read it and answer she said please can you address the topic about curses unconscious initiation or ignorant covenants with the devil on children of God. So yes, our, our curses is real. Curses are very real. And, but so true, so too are blessings. Curses are very real. And a curse can walk in your life whether you're aware of it or not. And, and that's why the Bible says, for well, what well, Jesus became a curse for us so that we might get into the blessing. So if already you're not in Christ, you're already operating in a curse, whether you like it or not, it, whether you know it or not, you're already operating in it. And the truth about being in Christ, we're talking about being a believer. The truth about being in Christ is that once you are in Christ, it says what old things have passed away and everything has become new. But the truth is it's not automatic because even as children of God, we can still attract curses on ourselves. But the truth, the, the, the overall fact of it is that we are blessed. Remember in the case of Abraham, he says, whoever blesses him or bless and whoever curses him or bless. So God on our behalf can place curses on people. So if you're a child of God, there are things you can do to attract the curse. There are things you can do to put yourself in, 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 in a not so healthy place, right? Uh, if you see the Bible says, well, the, the curse of the law is in the house of a thief. So if you are a child of God and you're still stealing and duping people so yes you say you're born again you're a believer but the curse is still working so yes can 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 unconscious initiations affect children of god yeah most of us like being a typical african child before 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 now most of our parents were idol worshippers and some of us we are the first generation of believers in our family and that's why we need to break certain curses and they'll be like oh if you're in christ why are you talking about curses again the truth is ignorance of something doesn't mean it's not there and is it true that being in christ we automatically get free from these things yes but then at the end of the day you see children of god that that okay let me just bring it this way how would you know you are operating in a curse right or there's a curse working in your family lineage or in your family you can check the patterns and see if you check and you begin to discover oh all the female children in my family they don't get married it's not a coincidence you check you check someone told me um of a story recently of, of this guy him and his wife uh, before they got married, they were, he was a believer, you know, both of them are believers, but they sat and they began to look at their family line and they discovered that in the latest side, they don't have boys. Nobody in the past, how many generations have ever had a male child? And so the husband said, it will stop with me because I married you, things are going to stop. And so they began to pray and to break those curses because there was an obvious curse. And when she went now to verify, I'm talking about something very recent, she discovered that someone had placed a curse on her family, the great, great grand. Was she in Christ? Is she in Christ? Yes. Was that pattern still working? Yes. But she took on place in the place of prayer and that was broken. So that's to answer the first part. I mentioned, yes, yeah, yes, we identified patterns and we begin to take there as a people give children to god and 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 so you see uh most some people when their parents gave birth to them they got into covenants whether they knew it or not and how you know that the of the count the opposite of something is once you see a good thing or bad thing know that there's a good right you see when 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 samuel 
when um, Hannah had gone to God and said, if you give me a male child, I will return him to you for worship. There are many people that their parents went to different places and had them. And so the parents said, this person will worship you. And, and so sometimes we are handed over without us even knowing. There are covenants that have been gotten into on our, without our consent. Samson's consent, Samuel's consent was not taken and his parents had already given him to God even before his birth because he came and the mother donated him to the temple and he served God all his life there. If he had his choice, would he have said no? Maybe, maybe not, but that was it. So I mentioned, I said, you see, parents also, they give their children. So this covenant can be entered upon on our behalf, be it good or evil. And that's why you check. If you see this part as you begin to pray, I know men of God, even in present time, I remember when Joshua Samuel said his grandmom used to pray for him and pray for him and say, you will serve God. And today he's doing it because the same way you can activate a curse, you can also activate the blessing. Then I mentioned here, I said, Sometimes we get into, okay, let me continue her question, then we'll understand as, as the answer progresses, okay? I'll try not to make this too long, but again, I'm just touching the surface. This, this, these questions are a bit, they're a bit deeper than it is, but I just want to answer it the way it is and the way I understand from the word of God. I don't know everything. Let me know what you think in the comment section. It says, for example, can someone lay a curse on a child of God and it manifests? And I already mentioned, if you're a child of God and you keep stealing, you activate the curse. If you're a child of God and you're still living in fornication, you activate a curse because you're, you're, you're inviting demon strange spirits into your life. Life. what is a curse what is a curse okay if you want to see you understand a curse is a negative occurrence because of something that's the layest man way of defining a curse a negative occurrence because of you know and the second part of her question so i said yes he says for example can someone lay a curse on a child of god and it manifests yes a curse without cause will not manifest but if there is a cause it will most of us curses are manifesting in our life because of the things we have said and we don't even know that we have said those things and that's why we have to be careful sometimes curses come to, into our lives because we talk carelessly we make declarations and manifestations that we can't live up to and that's why it's good to mind how we talk so that we don't activate a negative occurrence which is a curse all right uh, just give me one moment uh yes Yeah, okay, I just wanted to check this. It said, a curse, this is dictionary, we're not going to be, it says, a solemn utterance intended to evoke a supernatural power to inflict harm or punishment on someone or something. An offensive word or phrase used to express anger or annoyance. It's a curse. So you have invoked a supernatural power to activate that wicked thing that you have said. So yes, curses are real. And yes, curses can be invoked. We can we can speak carelessly and get curses in our lives. Um, and, and, and I remember this time, uh, the story in the Bible, I think that was, what's his name I mentioned here in the book of Judges. I think Judges 11, uh, a covenant. I said covenants can be got into by careless or careful talking this is jeff that way he said oh if i get god if you help me win this battle the first person out of my house i'm going to i'm going to offer a sacrifice and you know you have just this daughter why would you talk like that and he took the daughter and sacrificed her god doesn't receive human sacrifice god will not ask you to do something but we need to be careful how we are talking because you will talk and invoke a curse upon your life without you even knowing all right I said that she also actually said can you be initiated be in a covenant that you are not aware of again i've answered that already i mentioned here i said yes we can get into unconscious covenants or initiation it is real breaking the curses of life there's a book i mentioned yet i was going to share it breaking the curses of life if you read that book you have a real understanding on curses and what to do i remember when i was reading it i discovered that activated some curses in my life without even knowing and i began to pray against it the good thing about curses is that they can be broken right i said so unconscious covenants they exist every they do exist that's why the bible says that when men slept the enemy came and sowed wrong seeds and when when they when they woke up in the morning they discovered that the seed had grown right so sometimes even this unconscious covenant you eat in your dream i know some people are like ah if you eat in your dream you're just hungry while you sleep but please understand your spiritual work and know that these things are not just the way it looks 
when they begin to feed you in their dream spiritually you become weak you're not as alert as before i remember a movie i watched and this pastor he had in the dream and before he knew his prayer life was under attack because the enemy was targeting him he couldn't pray and study as such and the enemy came and inflicted sickness upon him but then he stood up and prayed so was that his concern no but you see you being ignorant of something doesn't mean it's not going to work ignorance is it's it's approval in in, an, in another sense right because you don't know you're not going to say i didn't know that's why it happened that's why the bible says don't say before an angel it was a joke we need to mind our words you get what i mean and so and so while while he woke up he began i've had some dreams and i wake up and i see the manifestation so even without your consent initiations can go on whether you're conscious of it or not but that's how you wake up as a child of god and you begin to pray and you begin to cancel and you begin to pronounce if it doesn't align to the word of god then you reject it hallelujah you see, when Joshua was talking to the train of God, he said, this day I said before you blessing and curses, life and death. Choose life. Choose choose you this day whom you will serve. And so me and my household, I will serve the Lord. So just choosing not to serve God, that is already operating under the curse. That is already giving the enemy upper hand to walk into your life. So each time we are operating in sin, it gives the enemy, which is the negative power, the right to begin to manifest in our lives. I said lack of discernment and spiritual insensitivity can cause a curse to work in your life. So if you don't have understanding of something, it's not going to stop it. I'm not sure if I've answered this question. I mean, I believe I've answered. I'm not going to the technicalities or I'm not a, I'm not a spiritualology or something. But I'm telling you everything that I've seen from the word of God. So yes, again, her question was, can you talk about curses? Can someone lay a curse on a child of God and it works and all of that, all of that? And I said, yes, but the curses also, they can be broken. We have victory in Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the highest brick of any curse we can understand. When the train of Israel, they were in bondage, they were under the curse and the oppression of Pharaoh. And, and, and by the time Moses came with the, with, with the rod of a higher priest, the rod of God, they were liberated and they walk into victory. So if you see a pattern in your family, family that you don't like oh everybody in my family has oh, diabetes everybody in my family has fungi and this and that and that i remember at one point in my life i had to tackle this when i was like oh i have fungi fungi is a normal thing my auntie has my this my this i said no 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 it's not me i refuse it it's anti the word i refuse to operate under this negativity i refuse to let a, a negative power take this upper hand in my life and i began to pray against it so if you see some patterns in your life that you're not even sure how they got there or in your family it's time for you to rise and begin to pray and begin to to ask the intervention of god and trust me the same way god blesses that is the same way he can break this curse it takes god no time it just takes us to engage understand it and stand from a place of understanding to avert it because see even as children of god we have so many things that God has given us just being children of God. But if you don't know your redemptive rights, the enemy is going to cheat you. It's the same way if you're operating under a curse, you don't know it's going to manifest and tie you down. People say, oh, I'm, I've been born again, but how come uh, there's a marital uh, siege upon my family? How come my marital life is dragging? The, see, these things, it's it's not that I'm born again. You have to take light to come out of darkness, all right? So that's what I wanted to share about unconscious covenant and curses. Uh, if this has been a blessing, I know someone that is going to bless them. I really had to sit down because I wanted to speak from a, a really pure, a pure natural place and not just things I've written in crime. I want to speak from a place of understanding, and I really hope that this is blessed somebody or is going to bless somebody thank you for being a part of uh this session today if you know someone that is going to bless them do me well to share them out share it out so they can come in and get blessed all right and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so thank you and god bless you bye for now